Hello everyone, my name is Vanessa and I want to thank you for joining us again for this episode of VBS 101. We are making our way through 101 tips and ideas to help you plan for Vacation Bible School. If this is your first time tuning in, be sure to check out our previous episodes as we discuss tips 1 through 17 regarding planning, advertising, and budgets. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can catch all of our content. Today we will be discussing the topic of registration, so let's get started. Tip number 18. Decide the age range for your VBS. Determine what ages your VBS will be open to. What will the minimum age requirement be for your VBS? Typically, we have our VBS registration starting at three years old, and we require that children already be potty trained. You may also want to offer nursery care for children of volunteers or younger siblings. Then you'll need to decide what your upper age limit will be. What will the cutoff be? You'll typically want to keep your maximum age limit aligned with your local school system. For example, in your area, are 6th graders considered middle schoolers or are they still in the elementary schools? Another question to consider is whether your church will offer a junior high or high school youth program during VBS. Or if you have older kids who want to attend, will you encourage them to be helpers and volunteers at one of the stations? Since VBS is a summer program, be clear on your registration forms and advertising, whether you're referring to the grade level that kids are going into or the grade that they just completed. Tip number 19, encourage families to pre-register. Having children pre-register will not only help you plan ahead, but this will also help families save time on the first day when they arrive at VBS. Consider how you will handle pre-registration, whether you'll have paper forms available at the church, or if you'll accept registrations over the phone or by email, or if you have an online registration system set up. You might check with your VBS curriculum publisher or distributor to see if they offer an online registration tool. As you advertise and promote your VBS, be sure to include instructions on how families can pre-register, as well as any links or contact information that they'll need. And also inform families whether pre-registration is required or optional, and whether you will accept walk-ins who have not registered ahead of time. Tip number 20. Ask for all necessary information during registration. On your registration forms, make sure you ask for all necessary information, but only what's really necessary. People don't want to feel like they're giving you their whole life history, but at the same time, certain information will be needed to help keep kids safe. So here are some of the things that you'll want to include on your registration form. You'll need the child's name, their age or grade level, any allergies or special needs, an email address, mailing address, or phone number for follow-up, emergency contact information for a parent or guardian, including their name, phone number, and relationship to the child, names of those who have permission to pick the child up after VBS, and you might also want to ask if families have a home church. We've also included a question asking families how they heard about our event. And then you may also want to consider adding any liability release or photo release forms that require a parent signature. You can help save time for families with multiple children by offering a family registration form with room to list multiple children's names, ages, and special needs. Tip number 21. Be patient during check-in. Having pre-registration will help you go ahead and divide children up into groups ahead of time, but please be aware that these groups need to be flexible. While families are encouraged to pre-register, you may have those who show up on the first day of VBS without having registered beforehand, so be ready for those last-minute walk-ins. 
You might have some who pre-registered but don't show up and some who show up but did not pre-register. This can sometimes make the first day a little stressful as you're trying to get everyone in and you may have to rearrange some groups, but just be patient and flexible. When families arrive at VBS, if you can, have a special check-in line designated for those who have already pre-registered so that their wait time is shortened and they don't have to stand in line behind someone who's not already registered and they can get checked in more quickly. Just have them quickly review the pre-registration information that they submitted just in case anything has changed. Tip number 22, be prepared with extra supplies. Now I know that some churches have a limit on how many children can participate in their VBS and they may not allow kids to come without having pre-registered. But hopefully you won't have to turn any kids away. We want to welcome as many as possible. In fact, our VBS numbers tend to grow throughout the week as kids go home and invite their friends to come with them the next day. So if you do plan to allow for last minute walk-ins, just make sure that you're prepared. Always buy more supplies than you think you'll need so you'll have some extra on hand in case you have those who did not register ahead of time. It's better to have extra supplies on hand and then if you have unopened snack supplies or craft supplies at the end of the week, you can return them to the store and get your money back. I know some VBS curriculum publishers will even let you do that as well with extra supplies that you've purchased depending on their policy, but it's better to have extra than to have kids do without. Well, I would love to pray with you before we wrap up today's episode. Our Father, we thank you again for the privilege and opportunity to be part of a ministry like Vacation Bible School. Thank you for the love that you've poured into our lives and our hearts, and we pray that you would help us to share that with children and families this summer. You said to let the little children come to you and not to hinder them. The kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. And Lord, we pray that you would help us to put systems in place in our VBS to make things run efficiently and smoothly so that we can welcome children and keep the focus on you and keep our eyes on you always, Jesus, so we can share your truth and your love and your good news. Help us to be patient and flexible when those stressful times do come, as they always do. But thank you that in you we have peace. You've overcome the world, and you are with us, Lord. So help us as we continue to plan and prepare and walk through this VBS 101 journey. Thank you that you're with us every step of the way. And thank you for your wisdom and your love that guide our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. So do you have any helpful tips about VBS registration? If you do, please share those in the comments below. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And during our next episode, we will be exploring the topic of decorating for VBS. If you want all 101 tips right away, you can pick up a copy of our VBS 101 book. It has plenty of room to make notes as you follow along with each episode. I'll put the link down in the description below. And if you're looking for VBS curriculum, please feel free to check out the programs we have available for sale. They're low cost, so great on a budget. And I'll put that link down below as well. And I'll see you next time as we continue VBS 101.